What's up guys, it's David from Wired Off-Road. We're here today doing a conversion video. First video in the series of how to convert their bike just like this to electric, just like that, using our simple kit. Stay tuned. We got this bad boy, Kawasaki KX85 2009 model. Got on Facebook Marketplace for it was about $1,300. It's running, driving, works mostly fine. We're gonna convert it to electric using our simple kit. But, you know, everything's gas. Seems to be in pretty decent shape, pretty dirty. Nice little Detroit Lions bag full of goodies. Miscellaneous odds and ends, and there's half of a clutch kit in here. Brake pads, and all our other goodies. We'll get down to the first step of really just tearing this thing down. Our first step in the process is gonna be taking off all the plastics and draining the fluids. So we gotta drain the radiator, remove the gas tank, drain the carburetor out, and disconnect some of the lines. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter and an eight millimeter to take off most of the plastics. All right, we got this thing stripped down pretty quick. Some of the issues you run into on these is they've got a whole mismatch of different bolts on them. People break stuff, people lose them, and then they don't replace them with the original sizes. So you got some 10 millimeter heads, some eight millimeter heads, some 11 millimeter heads all from the factories all to eat. Once we put all back together, make them all 10 millimeters. So next step is gonna be draining the radiator and also disconnecting the gas and removing the gas tank. So the gas tank comes out with that and then disconnect the hose in the bottom, shut the petcock off and the radiator Pretty easy to drain that. I'll probably take off the muffler at the same time. Muffler is just barely held on right now. And then you got a drain plug right, right down there. Had to run and get myself a nice little bucket. Next up, gonna be draining the coolant. We got this little drain here. Crack the top just so it all flows out nicely. There we go. Handy for that one. Got some needle nose pliers just to pull off these strings. Our petcock is in the off position, so we can go ahead and disconnect the carb. That hose just comes right out. Get these fins off this whole bracket. sell these parts on eBay, you can get as much money for them as you can. Some ECU to sell on eBay. It's gonna be wiring harness. We'll put that drain plug back in. All right, well, let's clean up a little bit. Cleaned up the floor, put all the parts onto the shelf, keep it nice and tidy here. So next step, we're gonna be taking out this radiator and the air box and probably the carb. Take out that side bracket. Of it. All right. Move it out. 
So we'll try and keep that clean as we can. That one's got to come off. back into the carb so we don't lose it. That stuff is valuable on eBay and not like you get rich off it, but you can make back a lot of what you spent on the bread the bike. Put this shroud in. Bolts missing the motor mounts. <laughs> like I said, brand new, fresh, never been dropped, mid condition, highway miles only. Yeah, for sure. Disconnect the ignition coil here. Spark plug. Last wires just go down into the gearbox. Radiator is not held on by anything other than just the hoses to the engine. Next steps onto a chain. We got our little key link. Oh, holy cow, that thing just went flying. Okay, we got it. Under a little bit of tension just to shuffle that around. Now I got some tension. I'm trying to pry this thing out. Kit does include a new chain that when it comes out, and it all falls down. Free spinner. Now the motor can come out. The one didn't even have a nut on there. Somebody had the wrong size screw. Completely wrong size. Facebook Marketplace. Some good stuff on there. Take the brake lever off. We will pull this spring off just to get it out of the way for now. Don't lose that guy. Put that right back. This thing's ready to go. Clear the landing zone. Clear the wiring harness here. That's that. We got some cleaning to do. This is fully stripped right here. We're gonna replace that rear sprocket, but I just prefer to do that once all the motors in, swing arms back on, and then I'll worry about taking this back end apart. We're gonna clean this thing up and remove these little uh, rubbers. Pull those off, don't need them anymore. Down to uh, cleaning this pig, might as well, while we're here. We're not gonna paint it right now, but just, uh, you know, you know. You know what we're doing right here. Just caked on.